Hello everyone, welcome back to Podcast on Wheels, episode 27! Seven. Happy New, New Year, Year Edition! <laughs> I so, said, she said New Year Edition, I said Happy New Year. <laughs> so, there we go. <laughs> as you guys know, when we are recording this, it is definitely not New Year. <laughs> nope, it is. It is January 4th right now. Yes. And it is a bright and happy Wednesday, so... As we are recording this, it's yep. definitely not the new year. We had an awesome time on New Year. We uploaded on New Year. It's not, not, not like we did it. But yes, we, we have just, so much to talk about. Oh my we God. have so much to talk about <laughs> and to dive into. The first thing you guys will recognize <coughs> is the background is a tad bit different than normal. I love and it. Already. I want to address <laughs> this and the reason why. So, a couple of months ago, not even a month ago. Why did yeah. I say? Uh, I'm like acting ago, like this is like so much ago. But a couple of days ago, approximately maybe a week ago, we yep. got in a new phone. And with this new phone, it's been way more accessible. So amazing. Way, way more better, not laggy, not glitchy. Yes. And one of the reasons why I didn't really want a new phone back then was... Well, my thumbnail site would be lost. That's how I create the backgrounds of this yes. podcast and how I navigate things through the podcast. I didn't want that to change, and of course it did. So we found a way uh, to get the thumbnail, uh, As for- my favorite app, onto my new phone. We just yes. copied the link, put it in the chat. But, but she never knew that before five months ago. Four no, because we never really explored it. Yes. And we had no other reason to. Uh-huh. And... But, as now that we have explored this, I realize I no longer have any of my saved projects. Nothing devastating, because no. I always have it on my old phone. But my old phone yes. is too glitchy and too oh laggy to work with. So, you might be seeing this new and maybe oh, improved podcast background. It's barely any lights, but it is a plain wooden background. Why I we like just, it. Uh, why I we honestly just, do. Why we just sit here. So, you know, as normal. But it doesn't have any of the lights, no Christmas hats. And as you guys know, I'm no longer wearing a hat. Not a Christmas hat, not a regular hat, not yep. a hat that is not a beanie. So, I'm yes. no longer wearing hats. That hat ending, that hat series wearing is series ending. has officially ended. Has it officially? Do you want to know why? I get bored of it. Yes. I'm tired bored. of looking for outfits that constantly have hats and good ones that have that don't have hats and I can't even use them. So I decided to quit this series after the New Year's. And I yep. stayed strong to this, to the first episode. I haven't worn hats since. Yep. I mean, obviously I wore hats for the cold, but never on a podcast that we're doing now in the New Year. So me yep. and Donnie have been planning on this thing where we want to see how many podcasts we can get out in the New Year. In obviously, 2024, woo-hoo! we have officially 360 we have 360 times a day, so that's okay. Yep. <laughs> and the thing is, mainly for us, most of the time we have to get out a podcast every, every week, week or something like that. We are very diligent on that, almost every fucking week. Like, we're, we've been surprisingly very good about that. So, we're going to dive into the reason why we haven't uploaded this week and a Some couple days tough. past a week. Some things are tough, some things are just, we got busy. Yes slipped our mind completely yes so oh my we gonna, god we're gonna tell you stories about in the new year and yes from last year technically yes <laughs> <Have a funny idea. laughs> we're gonna tell you some stories from last year this year yes and all of the above to know why we are changing our podcast style not our uploading schedule most likely yeah um but why we're changing our podcast style we already got through that already done explain that already but we really want to dive into new stories, old stories, what's been going on in our lives, yes. what's been happening. <laughs> and I'll tell you guys about a couple of new stories from this new year, which is mine, yep. my perspective of the May new I year. May I talk to them first? Yep. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so many of y'all know that, well, <laughs> some of y'all have seen the sadly heartbreaking vlogs. Yes. And that was before, that was on New Year's Eve, a couple hours before it mm-hmm. actually hit the New Year's, which we will not get into that until later on, so be patient. <laughs> but, the reason why we missed nine days of our podcast, now we want nine days over a week, we're like two days, so instead of a podcast 
two days ago. You're getting one now. Like, we missed two days recently. So, so we've done something like that only a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Again. Which it's really sucks. <laughs> yeah, which really sucks because I like posting these and I like getting it out for y'all. Mm -hmm. But when we're like nine days late, like two days uh, away <clears throat> from them, we're like, oh, dang it, we missed like a podcast episode or something. Well, we should have done one Monday or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, things like that gets me thinking sometimes, you know? So, I... We stopped, or done our last podcast on December 24th, or December, very, very late into December. Can I add to that? Yes. So, <clears throat> most of you guys know, we started this little Christmas festive yep. holiday episodes where we do Christmas-themed things inside the podcast, or just upload a podcast every single day until Christmas, yes. which are the last we five days. One day. So, five days. And you're wondering, why did we miss Christmas? We were very busy. Our mom had a little bit of a rough time yep. after. Yep. And we just had a overall that day. We just wanted to relax and we weren't yes. really thinking of a podcast. So we're sincerely sorry for missing for missing festive holiday episode five. I don't even know if it's gonna happen this year. Maybe we'll bring back the festive holiday like um, but those were struggling to add in the thumbnail and move and add the Christmas out there. But it's okay. Yes. We might do that again this year, but obviously that's more than 12 months away. Yep. So we, you hold your horses. <laughs> so um, obviously we don't know if we're going to do that this year, depending on how well this yes. year goes. So we're only four days in. We've been three days. Three days. So <laughs> uh, I swear to God, it's the fourth, right? No, it's just like. Okay. It's a couple of hours. I before. am wrong. Okay. Excuse me if I said the fourth on this podcast. Oops. So, um, and before then. So, uh -huh. sorry. Okay, so. Um, but that's more than 12 months away. We apologize in advance yeah. for missing the festive holiday episode number five. But we've done the rest four, and I hope yep. you can forgive us, because that is a lot of work. We spent, like, more than four five hours. Five hours of recording. Like, five, five hours, hours, four five hours days. of production and editing and all that other stuff. So, so in, like, total, it took, like, seven hours. That's a lot of hours. work, because normally we're used to being sit down in a whole hour, you know, just yep. to talk about the whole week that we've had yeah. in one podcast episode. That what helps us take an hour. Because yes. we're explaining little snippets and stories and yeah. things throughout the entire week. Not just not, like every day you have to come up with a whole hour of not recording. Not one night. Like. That's the issue. When you just have one night of thinking, you can't come up with a like, whole hour uh, of speaking of what you want to say or yeah. do or talk about. A lot of times you don't really have anything to talk about. That is why. Drum roll. Take you one. We've been doing these podcast episodes every once a week since, you know, ever since those festive holidays. We've been trying to, but we forgot, and it totally slipped our mind. And on our Instagram account, SMA Vlogs, one, three, one, two, three, four, something like that. I can't remember, but it is called SMA Vlogs, yep. and most of you guys know I've been posting a daily, weekly smiles. smiles. And I like to name it that. Weekly Smiles is because of what makes me smile every single day of that week. From Whether Monday it's to a good Sunday. Day or a bad day. And out some weeks, there were not a lot to smile about. But no. some of the little joys no. would make me smile. So, I would write it down. And I've been doing this in a Google document. On my old phone, my new phone. My new phone has been working phenomenally. Uh, so, I can post them quicker. I get them out better. Do all this stuff better. Yes, Let's we can reach a more limit of Instagram. Faster. Um, but, <laughs> so far, we're on Wednesday today. So, only Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Only four more days until you get the sixth, the sixth weekly, weekly smile. smile. Can you believe I've been doing... I'm almost... I'm literally already on the sixth week of my weekly that's, smiles. That's insane. Almost is, two fucking months. Which literally um, baffles... Yeah. No, Excuse me. Which literally baffles me because I'm like... Sixth week? I huh? literally just thought I started it. <laughs> no, and... Yeah, we're already <laughs> almost six weeks into our weekly yes. smiles. And to emerge. <laughs> I'm not... I but haven't started. I like... <laughs> and now I love seeing this. When I updated the first week of 2024... 
and I got to add a 24 on each date. So be expecting 54 weekly smiles this year. Yeah, uh, approximately that's total, so cool. Because that's how many weeks? Or 54. 50, 52. Yeah, 52. I'd something. Say 50. <laughs> something. I don't know. 52 or 54 weekly smile posts in one exact year. If I don't yes. ever miss a week, and I'm sure I won't, because I have either I don't update y'all for three days, and then in one day I update yeah. those three days and then go along for the rest. It's not like y'all have to know that I've been literally not updating y'all every day. It's important that I do, but. It's also important that I get it out, and, you know, y'all get to see yep. what made me smile that week, a couple of photos in that week, <laughs> or, you know, during that week, so I always or find it lovely. It's always so satisfying posting one, because I'm like, yes, I got another week done, time to post the story, six week done, <laughs> and I'm like, <sighs> oh my gosh, I have this weekly smiles, updates, weekly smiles, uh, and we finally have to do a new story highlight because we've reached a hundred stories. Wow. On that one story highlight. And Holy there's already shit. A, <laughs> there's already a couple more. And as you guys know, I finally got my block of please. Yes. So originally, I don't think I've shared much information on this YouTube mm -hmm. channel about my blog. But obviously on our Twitter, on our threads, on our Instagram. Instagram yep. We've shared a lot. I've shared big news. I've shared some tiny tad bit updates. I even shared you yes. guys when I finished. I even shared some chapters on there that are recently in my book that I wanted yeah. to write just casually. And they're literally in the book. Or not blog. Book, not it book. It could count technically as a no. little chat. No, it's kidding. 25 pages <laughs> is not a goddamn no. book. No. So maybe... No, a very, 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 very short book. Yeah, but Miss Lawson was very impressed on how much I wrote in the little time that I did it. Damn. And so, uh, re like, I've been working on this blog for so long now, it's felt like forever, but yes. probably only been a month. And originally, when I did it, when I was 30 years old, I wanted to write to people yeah. on what my perception of reality was. Because I was mind boggled into a whole new reality of a spinal cord injury paralyzed from yeah. the neck down essentially from all the therapies helped me only get paralyzed from the right time which i'm extremely baffled and grateful to have that yeah. you know new sense of movement and range and peace yep. you know but and, I've talked about wait, my and, <laughs> and since my reality got so changed or very changed I wanted to write about it, and ever since I started writing, I wrote down stories that now my friends have heard, because I yep. read the blog. Yeah, she wrote it, and so I was like, I'm just like, it was pretty good, actually. I liked it. <laughs> um, one most interesting story from it could have been, like, yeah, there's so many, because uh, there was a lot of blog I heard before, but there was a lot of words in there that I would not be able to think I would be able to use. I was thinking about, um, so she did very good on it. She did really good. I listened intently for the whole, like, 30, 40 minutes she was reading it, and it was, it was nice. I liked it. Mm-hmm. We're not doing your podcast, so I'm just reading the book, the blog. <laughs> no, be, we're not. I'm sorry. That, to me, that would be kind of a point in this episode. Not to be in, like, a really drafty kind of way, I'm just saying, like. No. I don't think people. Like, you could list the whole thing in, like, a description or something. Yeah, I want to fit in a description. <laughs> no. Post, but, like, post, post, second post, like, I can read the whole blog. Or you you could put the link somewhere and then you, you guys can check it out. If you would like to, to, you don't have to. But just say, if you want to, you can go ahead, check it out. Anytime you want to or ever need to. You can go ahead and check out the blog. I might even create like an Instagram account for it or something. No, don't. <laughs> I don't think I need one extra Instagram account to get overwhelmed by. I don't uh, know. I have no idea. Tired? I. Hush, my kidney yawn, damn it. I'm joking, it's okay. So, so I did get my blog complete. Everything is normal. Yep. I'm fine about that. Great. Happy that I did before the new year. I think I got it done in the new year or I think before. Before the new year. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> I was super happy about that. Super wonderful. I was like, yay, finally got it done. Yes. If most of y'all saw my story on that, I was like, oh my gosh, I got my I got my vlog done. <laughs> it was like me super happy. <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. Um, time to find my talk. <laughs> um, 
I'm saying to y'all that the reason why we have been off is multiple reasons. The day before we stopped recording the podcast episode, we were... Th- th- <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> were <laughs> we were recording episode um, 26. Um, so we were... Tr- we were re- God dang, we were recording. We were recording podcast episode 26 on Christmas Eve. What? I don't, I don't remember what day. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Darling, you are missing out, man. Yeah, the day before That's Christmas right. Eve, our last time recording was December 23rd. Um, so it make it 10 days in a couple hours. Mm-hmm. Which is insane. Um, Longest time, only four more days before we made it two weeks. Damn. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I would not be able to last two weeks. <sighs> I feel so bad. Um, but I was saying that be, the night before Christmas Eve, I had like a bit of a runny nose and I was still going to pneumonia. <laughs> Further known that into that morning, I had taught, I was catching something overnight. I don't know what it was, but it's, it was like the cold, like seasonal cold, whatever. And normally, those doesn't make my nose really stuffed, and uh, my body's sore, and just, I'm all not feeling we the greatest. We started filming this the 24th of December, you're right. Okay, um, so, I caught something overnight, and it got me sick. For the past nine days, I have been suffering through that, and if you can't tell by the constant sniffling and constant coughing and everything, it <laughs> mainly for me, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not gone. It's almost recovered, but it's not gone yet. Um, it sucks because it's been nine days. Come on. Um, but yeah, that that's something I've been going through t- for the past nine days. So f- for the first couple of days, I wasn't feeling the greatest, greatest. Um, but right now I almost feel like fully back to normal. Uh, still going through pneumonia, not as bad. <coughs> yeah, it's been like two weeks. <laughs> so I've been sick for over like half a month. <laughs> um, so that's sucks. And if you're wondering what that text is below, Donnie, it just says New Year Edition. It's not going to be there forever. No. It's just that episode that we technically upload after New Year. Our first episode in the New Year. Yep. Whether it's two weeks in or only three days in. I'm glad that we're recording our first, uh, that we're recording another episode, our first episode in uh, New Year, only three days in, so we have plenty of time Mm -hmm. to get out as many as we freaking can. Not in a rush. Mm -mm. We should get out 52 episodes. Um, but... Over the course of days, things have been happening. We had Christmas. We got new phones. Over 20-something Pokemon packs. Uh-huh. We ordered our first booster box, which is coming this Friday. I'm so I'm excited. So excited. <laughs> I'm way too excited. Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never opened a booster box ever in my damn life. I am so oh my God. excited. I've never seen like 36 packs in the same set. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited! Ah, I'm so excited. That thing costs 120 bucks. That's so much. So it's gonna be a lot. And we're gonna get it on video. So fucking excited! One channel will have ah, like it. I'm so excited. Um, which we'll have to find a set up I can't wait for that. Um, <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll try our best with the set up thing. But. Those exciting things have been happening. This Christmas, you know that our grandma passed away on November 16th, 2023. So, that's been tough, and it's still tough to this day. We've still not been grieving. It's been almost two months since then, which is fucking insane. I don't like to think that it's already been two months. Um, or almost no. two months. In like 13 days, it'll be two months. Damn. Um, since that traumatic moment happened uh, but for Christmas there was a card attached to my stocking and it said from Grandma it was a $50 which is what she normally would do 
Yeah, but that's right. She normally gives fifty to a hundred dollars in cash. That was her, not us asking you or anything. That was her choice, and she made that choice. She would give that to us every single Christmas, and we could buy whatever we wanted with it. And this, she was like, from Jeremy, it was a $50 check. My eyes started, like, tearing up, and there was just tears going down my eyes. I'm like, aww, Donnie's crying. Because, like, it was so sweet. Like, I, it was the first Christmas without her, so it was sad as hell to think about that. And then the baggie that was attached to the stocking was a necklace with her ashes in it. So she was there um, with us. It was a brace. It was a necklace, and then a little capsule with purple gems all around it, because that's her favorite color. And it was filled with her ashes inside. It's a sweet. I keep it in the little baggie because I don't want it to get damaged or anything. I do sometimes sleep with it, and I cuddle it with the little, um, my little hands, cuddle the thingy. <laughs> it's a so sweet, but like, it's like sweet and a kind of sad way, you know, um, so we're still there when Dad's leaving, and that necklace was given to us on December 25th, including our new phones, and Pokemon packs, and clothes, and my fucking god, and snacks, and oh my gosh, it was insane, I love, <clears throat> I love Christmas so much, <coughs> my favorite gift was obviously the grand new necklace, that was so awesome, um, I don't know why, I don't want to know how much it cost or anything, it was beautiful. Um, so, and obviously, our new phones, our old phones were $40 off Amazon, like $46 of tax. These were 120 bucks, the same price as our booster box. Our new phones were 120 bucks, that is $80 bigger than our old phone. Like, 70 to 80 bucks like so much bigger, bigger than our old phone. And let me tell you, we had service on it. We can call, we can text. No matter how, when we're at college. This is our first day back on college. And it went pretty well today. Um, I finally finished two hours of homework. Yes! I finally finished. Yes. Um, I've been off for like almost an hour or two. Um... Because they had like this drafting, mapping, whatever the fuck is called. Um, that will not benefit me in real life. I, I know that. Uh, college. What can I say? Um, so I got done with two hours of homework and that was pretty fun. So, we, um, so, uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. I got to text my friends, I got to listen to music on there with my new wireless headphones, um, which was awesome. Nothing went wrong. It worked so well. Uh, it worked so completely well compared to my old phone. Number one, I saw the battery life to it. Oh my fucking god. That is a huge thing. I played on it for 2 hours and 30 minutes, and it got down to 76%. Like, uh, In 2 hours and a half, my phone would be almost dead. My old phone. That's how insane. And, um... So, th yeah, it's dead. Oh my like, god. You don't understand. For me... My old phone, I used to think, there's nothing wrong with it. $40, it works just as a dream. It's fine. Nope. I compared my new phone. Holy shit. It swipes better. My games work so much better. I just noticed a ginormous difference with the cameras and the quality mm -hmm. of the audio and everything. It's so much newer and odd. Uh, like, I showed you the new camera four days ago on this channel when I done a video. Like, hey, like... That was the first thing I filmed with the new camera and posted it on the channel like four or five days ago. Um, and then we've been posting screen recordings on Sunday servers and everything like that. So like kind of cool things like that over the course of days, you know, just checking things out with the cameras and stuff. It was nice. I, I love the camera. Um, I don't really have a complaint about it at all. Do you? No. Um, so I like it a lot. 
especially for a hundred twenty dollar phone, it's better than it would be expected. Um, so I like it a lot. I love Android phone. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything went fine on December twenty seventh or December twenty eighth. You know, we were I was recovering from sickness. We were just playing games and doing whatever. You know, like going through normal life. Nothing bad happened. December thirty first. 8 p.m. When all hell let loose. We were chilling. Jerry Songs, Doc, said her son was dying. Mm -hmm. Her son, her, we were allowed to share his name, right? Yep. His, her son, Zach, he was 13, 13 years old. We mentioned something sometimes about his a major surgery. I Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but that he let was me sum it all up. So my son was eight years old. We noticed he was getting a lot weaker and his spine was getting so bad that it about collapsed his left or right lung. Can't yep. remember. It was about to collapse his lungs. So we got the surgery done. He was okay -ish in the first three to two yeah. days and he started going declining. His breathing got so much worse kept getting worse until the point he needed to be sedated from all the pain and the breathing. Yes. So he he got sedated and then that was his final days on earth, like the last four. He passed away two days ago. Mm -hmm. So my son, 13 years old, who passed away because of breathing complications. I think it's I, almost three days now, damn. Yeah. He passed away. We were very sad on that. Because my God, that's so bad. He was going to pass away in the new year. Yeah. In the course of a couple of days, I bowed my eyes up like 10 times. God damn. Yes. Like, I started yeah. crying, and, oh, God. I was like, are you, like, when I heard this, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? We're not doing this, not having another death. And I started crying more than the Yeah, way. he was so trying. And I had a cheer him up. I started, and of course, it's not an easy thing. I no, know. I started bawling my eyes out. Oh, my God. He's so sweet, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and... After that, after I start, stopped finishing crying my eyes out, my eyes were still like, oh, Bonnie. And we started to hear our mom cry. Oh, oh, I just cried my eyes out not to cry again. Damn it. I hear her crying. And I'm like, okay, let's go out there to console her. What's going on? Is she crying about Grammy again? Which she most likely she was. She yep. was. She said, one line that got to me dearest to my heart. I don't want to be here anymore. That's a line where someone says, our dad said, oh, this, she's just joking, you know, not joking, but like, she was meaning, I don't want to, I don't want to like, have 2024 to come, I'm like, um, she stated multiple times on the road, saying she didn't, like, I don't want to be here, not just, oh, I don't want to, Oh, I don't want this year to come. She was saying that, but then she said, I don't want to be here. Was that up? Physical and stating she did not want to be here anymore. She's she's in a very good mood today. Yeah. She was in a happy, smiling mood when she came off away. She's like me. I'm not happy to best. Like, I'm happy most of the time, content like I am now. But if you would have talked to me a couple of days ago... I cried my eyes out six times that day. My eyes were red and almost swollen in bags. The next morning, they had a burn mark where people cry. Burn mark on the side of your eye. Um, so it burned to touch that area sometimes. They Ooh, were, I hate that. They had, they were, like, felt so weird, and I had to keep rubbing them. Like, really had to keep rubbing them because they were that... My eyes were like so red and, and weird. And you cannot tell me. I'm not a normal crier. Like, I cry of like sad things, but nowhere near uh, as much as the regular person. Tell I'm, me. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm, I'm a sensitive bitch. I'm not <laughs> saying I'm insensitive. I'm just saying I'm a little insensitive. Like, I'm like. I'm not... I still feel bad for people. It's not like I don't, but oh, I just yes, can't she cry. Has... Yeah, she's very. Like emotional, but like not in crying wise, if that makes sense. Yeah, I am emotional and sensitive. Yeah, because <laughs> like when he first passed away, it really hit like my heart, and I was like just bawling and bawling and bawling that whole night because someone just said, "Oh, I want their mama." When not when knowing that my son just died. Yeah, and mama wants him. Yeah, 
Betsy. Aww. And she's like, oh, like, oh, I want my mama. I'm like, no, 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 this is hitting too close to home. Um, we just don't I to started talk. bawling when she said, oh, oh I, just I hate want, that thing. She's like, oh, uh, I just want mama. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Because oh, remember when you turned around and you just saw me bawling? Oh, yeah. I was trying my heart out. And I don't our mom you. pulled me in close and she just kept gripping my hair. And she's like, oh, I'm very sorry. Very softly. And she's I'm like, like, what do you I'm have sorry. to be sorry about? I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry. I'm just trying because I'm scared for you. And, I'm, <laughs> and I am miss I miss grandma. <laughs> I, that's what I'm crying it's about. No, it's nothing and needed And multiple wrong. times in the night, their dad checked up on us and they're like, you okay? And I was like, he no. He could sense we were depressed. Yeah. We're like the happy depressed. We're content and happy most of the time. But when there's that day, there will be that day. And it'll be very hard to get us out of that day till the next day, if not even longer. Yeah, like if we forget about it or just try. We, that's I try that's to the main things. thing. I don't like to think about it. Because the more I think about it, the more, the more sad depressive I'm be. I get. You know, so, I so we had one of our really hard days a couple of days ago. Yep. And we had another really hard day like that a month and a half ago. For that to happen again in our life is very rare for us. But yeah. I get it. And we and it wasn't on like, camera. And we weren't even trying to catch like a sad, depressing yes, episode um, on like podcast episode yes. number 19. But, uh, you know, it happened. Yeah, that happened. I was like, what? The first but, time it happened. And we had a depressive episode a month and a half ago. And then it happened just like four or three days ago. Well, I was trying hysterically. It was scary to the point where my crying sounded like laughing, but severe pain at the same time. It means I was in pain. You know you're in the worst type of pain when you can react. I just tried. I, it was like that no, cry. No, that's how I find it absolutely terrifying on how they. I don't even react on how Emmy and me don't even yeah. react most of the time. That means... How much pain are you in that you don't even have the decency to react? Yeah. And like, it's just like you become numb to yeah. it. Yeah, and a lot of people say, like, but Donnie, your pain shouldn't be as that. No. When I cry like that, that is so rare for me to cry like that. Literally. And on that night, I cried. Sound like I was laughing and in severe pain at the same time. All at the same time. Like, they just had to sit there They're and hard watch to pull me off. cry. And as we cried and just... Tried our asses off on our, our, my eyes literally was burning the next one. I was like, oh, and my eyes didn't feel well, and oh god, I just, uh, I didn't feel the greatest at all. Why would you? My appetite went down again, <laughs> or was going down earlier. I'm like, oh fuck, I don't want to do that. Um, so that was a, that hard day was a couple of days ago. Yeah, since then, we've been okay. Um. Yeah, well, he's been fine. I've been normal, but I just been a little sad after that. But like, it, I don't want to think about it, and I don't want. That's, I don't think about it constantly. That's the main thing. We do not want to think about it. When we think about it, it just becomes depressive and sad. And yes. You no, know, we're not trying to get ourselves depressed here <laughs> more than we already are. Yes. Like you hear us every day. Like, oh, you're not depressed. We're happy depressed. We're happy and most of content most of the time, but there will be those multiple times in a year where we are really depressed, our appetite goes down, our sleep is miserable. Like, That's no, literally, I cannot tell you in the first few days that I was in that depressive episode, oh my god, I ate, like, so little. I literally survived yeah. off a couple of My rolls, appetite was gone. Chicken nuggets, and whenever I the ate, I was day, like, I do not feel hungry. Yeah, the next day, I ate just to eat, like, I don't know why. Not, and it wasn't huge portions at all. Like It was like a when couple I, chicken nug nuggets. Yeah, but when I, I realized I went the whole day without feeling actual hungry. Like, you know the feeling when you're hungry? Yes. I went the whole day without feeling a single bit of hunger. But yeah. I just ate to eight. But I knew after I knew I had went over fourteen hours without eating, and I, my stomach was even growling. And I was like, "What?" Like I had completely lost appetite till one p.m. to finally eat something. And by then it was probably fifteen, sixteen hours since I ate. I didn't feel appetite to 
Eat, like, exactly. Let me eating just felt eat, like, like eating just felt like eh, okay. I'll just like, eat. Eh, I'll eat for fun, you know. Like not really an not appetite, but my appetite is back. Like I know when I'm hungry, you know. I had ramen and uh, pizza. I didn't eat all my pizza. I had one slice left out of three frozen slices of pizza. Um, and a bowl of ra- two bowls of ramen, uh, a bag of takis and. I think one of three dumb things at my school. That's what I had to eat today. There's not that when I really laid out. That's not much. <laughs> but no. it's a I lot better I than what I ate on the depression episode. I think I had half a pizza, not even my full bowl of ramen, and five, four slices of pizza. That's it. Yeah. So, all I've had today was pizza. Okay. That's creepy. They ran out of pizza at lunch. Oh. oh it's okay. It the dumplings are actually really good. Um, mm, they really weren't that good. They're a bit at cold, least, but I at least I don't find the dumplings good. <laughs> yeah. They're um, like these little dumpling things filled with random but, rice and chicken. Do not bake it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but that's basically what we've been, what we've been going to over the past twelve such a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Like, um, depressive episodes. People wanting to pass away. Uh, or people actually passing away, like sons, uh, dark son, mm-hmm. grieving people who have passed a month ago, grandma, uh, then, uh, we had, uh, let me see, sickness, yeah, sickness, death, grieving, and people wanting to die. People getting sick, and that's what's been busy on our plates for nine days. Now, luckily, nothing bad is knock on wood, William. Um, nothing bad has happened so far in 2024. So this year is actually kind of looking brightish. We're three days in, and nothing bad has happened. And well, before the death part, well, he died on New Year's Day. Never mind. Um, well, New Year's Eve is so far. Someone looking right with only some Zach's death. Totally not a hard thing to deal with. No, it's severely hard to deal with. Sorry. Um, so, one death this year. I'm hoping you could be that way because 2023 had over six of them. Um, yeah, there was Chili, my dad, my sister, uh, my grandpa. Uh, Grammy. I don't think anybody else. So, like, five deaths in 2023. Um, and then Little Mud Coma, Donnie Coma, Dark Coma, uh, Stuffy Coma. So, like, four and Chili Coma. So, like, five or six people went into coma, five deaths, and ten to tell eleven times with water. Um, Issues and a sh- um, drunk driver running over our mailbox. We had to get that differently implanted and everything. So, 2023 was horrible. I'm super glad it's over because I can already kind of feel this something present there. I know we had to have one death this year and we're three days in. But I feel like I do have a feeling inside me that this year will probably go a lot better than 2023. So, we are having hope the best we can right now. And, um, yeah. Do you have anything else to say? Well, us? I do have the gym stories. So, oh, yeah. gym, girls weight training. We haven't been there for at least 13 days, or my wife days. has not been there for 13 days or 12, whatever you want to count the broadcast. Um, so, today, me and Amy had a little bit of period cramps, which is something we rarely yep. ever have. Um, Considering that we don't get our period much, uh, TMI, and uh, so... It's just so, a monthly cycle, you're good. So... Our period, when we do get it, we never really experience stomach pain, but yep. we've experienced it twice to three times a day in the waves. Not bad waves. They're yeah, not like horrible. No, nowhere near Nowhere bad. near like my middle school ones. Nowhere near. No, 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 no. no, no. They're nowhere near. They're like a brief, tiny pain ever so often. And sometimes it does come in waves. Yep. Um, like, in a little bit more painful, okay, you're good. Oh, more pain. Uh, oof. So... Emmy's gotten so much pain to the point that she thought 
I can't work out. It's getting too uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable. It's, it's getting to the point that I don't think I can bear weight on my stomach. And Emmy can normally. It's not like she can't. So she tries to email Miss Faircloth about it. She's like, hey, I don't think I can work out today. Or can I skip? Or can I do as much of the workout as I can because I'm having period cramps or a stomach ache or something like that? So she sends that email. And, and then Miss Faircloth just says, I just need you to do as much as you can. And so, I'm glad I'm getting my period over before Max week. Holy crap! Um, oh God. Which is next week, so which is our final exam. So. Ah. Well, I'll get a hundred if we participate. So he nice. Is. So. That's um, not bad. So she does the squats horribly. I don't blame her. I can't even do that. Nope. But she does the squats and. They're not great because she's in pain. Uh, not too much pain, though, but more pain than normal. Yeah. Not normal. She we don't have pain normally. <laughs> we wait. Well, not me. <laughs> but um, I have fibromyalgia and... Uh, oh, shit. I thought you were talking about period pain. No. Pain. But I had pain. Pain <laughs> in, like, nerves? Yes. Constantly. Yep. But period pain? No. The back and hips are horrible. So... Normally, so Emmy got the workout done today. She done fine, like probably got a hundred like normal because we're allowed to wear sweatpants, which is great. She likes wearing sweatpants. Yes, so, always wonderful. That's always great. Fine. I don't so, know what that was. so always wonderful. Always good that she got was able to get it done with near to no pain. So me and Nicole. So I was having period pain, and guess what? She had a period today. On the same day I started mine, which was yesterday, at nice. 10 p.m., she started hers at 7 p.m. How mm. weird. Ours was almost the same hour it's to three hour. hours apart. No, it was almost the same hour to hour, day to day. And we like, and she's like, oh my gosh, do you know how I does knew you, knew you about us? I said, how? She I got my period. I said, girl, I have mine. And she and her friends she and she what? Did you start your period when? And I said, um, yesterday, 10 p.m., I think. I think it was 10 p.m. Should be gone by the time we get our booster box no, on one day over. No, it was like around 8. Because <gasps> you t- told me oh after about Oh my god, I just realized. Yeah. Oh my god, I have to tell her that tomorrow. It sounds so weird, but it's girl talk, okay? It's girl so, pop booty talk. Oh my god, that's so weird. I got it like an hour apart. That, That's that can't get any creepy. No, I think it was early, like <laughs> 7 40. No, I, I swear I'm gonna it was say eight. it was right before we head to bed, and it was normally 8. So we chill there, we just, you know, you know, chill there normally. And as we're getting up to class, our both of our peer pain hits. We're walking <laughs> up the stairs in pain. We're like, <sighs> we're like, oh, oh, because it was like, hey, every single time we did a movement. Oh. So we're walking up the stairs. I'm sorry. Very painfully and slowly. Or Slow should I say, my wife Amy was walking up the stairs. I was struggling in the elevator, but it still hurt. So yep. we get up the stairs. Amy is making the cold die. <laughs> and she starts to. Pain? M- no. Oh, more. And she. Why does, did I say pee? I don't she know. She does a little leg clench thing oh. near a door. And near a wall, oh. and she's laughing. And she, ah, ah, she's breathing a lot. And she, girl, I'm gonna have to change this soon. And I was like, ew. The bed. And oh. I was like, I was like, ew. I was like, oh, don't say that. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's you're fear. so disgusting. I was like. I was like, ew. Yeah. And that was funny. So, like, we're laughing, and I keep making her die funny somehow. Funny stories. Gotta love them. I'm just saying. Ow, ow, ow. Like, as we're in pain trying to walk to our class. And she said, girl, I feel bad for you. And I said, girl, who do you feel bad for? And she said, I have to walk up steps with you. And I said, girl, I have to walk a big hallway down to my social studies class and then go to the girls' leg training with this. So, in the end, I think I had it worse. Um, yeah. What um, class did she have next? I, c- I don't know her full schedule. Oh. Um, but I do know if she had to walk up a flight of stairs for, like, lunch or something like that. So she's That's just simple. Ch- I'm so, joking. So, so she's just chilling there. I can't do that. Or two to three with the period. That sucks. Oof. And cramps. Damn. Because as we walk up, there's a... Like, dang. And then after Amy done her leg workout, her legs down the stairs, wobbly as ever. Jiggle, jiggle. Just every single, because we haven't oh, got used hell. to it. We haven't got used to it for the past two weeks, or yeah, 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 two weeks, or maybe two days off. I don't Doesn't know. Matter. 
close to two weeks. That's all that really matters. Mean. We haven't been there for like close to two weeks. Yeah, so like twelve days. Doing more it. leg workouts <laughs> is harder to do. Amy sits there, wobbling down the stairs in pain. <laughs> not too bad. Oh, no. And you know, we we just get back. We continue with our day like normal, and that's it. Our period pain is mainly gone. Yeah, it went away. Um. It, it may never went away. Maybe it comes back in tiny little pinches or so, but it's fine. Pinchies. I can literally sleep through it. I can literally just play my game. Through yeah, it. she's been like it's, fine. So it's I'll not be. gonna hurt. And I was a little worried. Hurt. I was like, oh, you okay? But then she's like, yeah, no, Donnie, don't worry. You're all good. Like, yeah, but it doesn't no need to worry. Anymore. Like, if I oh, am oh. in severe pain, I can just go to the nurse, get treated. Yeah, like, or just go, I don't know. Or just go home. I, but, obviously, I didn't have to do that, so that's wonderful um, that the period pain has not kicked in. Interfered with daily life, you know? <laughs> but, um, so we got that finished, got that done, um, normal yep. like ever, got the workout completed, and that was all. So, I feel like this concludes our 27th episode and our first episode of the new year! Yeah, let's go! So, thank you guys so much for watching our first episode of the new year, and we'll see you all... T- uh, next week. Bye! Bye.